Hi, it's Terry Gaines. I'm going to give you some assembly tips on this new Funfold card. It has an image in the front that expands out and will rest in front of the rest of the card. It's a fun card to make. I'm going to use a stamp set that's called Home to Roost. It's a 2019 Stampin' Up! Celebration item and it is free with a $50 purchase until the end of March. So you have a few more days to get that. The cardstock you need for this is four inches by ten and a half. It is scored in two places. The first fold is right in half at five and a quarter, and the next one is at nine and a quarter, and that gets folded upward. Then what I need to do is take and cut a portion of this um, front flap. So I'm going to use my grid and just eyeball this up to one and three quarter inch and just cut in to this first fold. Then I'm going to take and tear this portion off, going towards the top fold and just doing an angled um, tear as such. Don't need to be perfect on this and any type of fold or tear from here to anywhere up here will be perfect. I'm going to use stays on ink pad for this and I'm going to take the wheat and tap that ink on and then I'm going to just stamp this following the contour of my tear on this front panel and just stamp the wheat along this area and I'm even going to just go all the way down here like such okay so that portion's done and before I close the ink pad, I'm going to close the card like such and take the sentiment and stamp that in the top right corner of the card. And there we go. I am going to color this in with some Stampin' Up! ink pads and a pencil eraser. This is a fun way to color in images that have this artistic look. You don't need to have um, stay within the lines with this technique. The pencil eraser is going to be like an ink or like a stamp pad. I'm just going to tap into the ink pad and then I'm going to just add color like such. So just go ahead and swoosh the color on. When you're done with one color, clean it off. Use the Stampin' Up! chamois, which is a great way to clean your stamps. It's a new product in the um, annual catalog. And the next color I'm going to show you is Granny Apple Green for the stems. And I'm just going to start towards the bottom and bring it up. And this is just a fun way to color in. You don't have to worry about coloring in everywhere. It's meant to have some white space. And to save some time, I'm going to bring one in that I've got already done. So what I'm going to do next is adhere this piece to a postcard that is the con contrasting color. I'm using basic black for this and just our Stampin' Up! snail adhesive and going to apply this right over the postcard. The postcard size is four and a quarter by five and a half. I line up equal spacing. I'm watching these two corners and if those two corners look good, the rest of it should fall into place. The next thing I'm going to do, and I've done this ahead of time, is I've stamped the rooster on Whisper White. I used the layering square dies to get the poppy parade in the basic black, and I colored this in with a pencil eraser too, just like I did with the wheat. And you can actually turn the eraser to kind of stay within the lines where you want to be. So this actually gets adhered right here to this tab. Apply your adhesive right here place that down and you can place this anywhere in this vicinity. You can space this however you want. Apply this like such. Then the next piece of cardstock I have is four by two inches and I'm just going to tear the top portion of this off. I'm going to use the Stampin' Up! Black Shimmer Ribbon. It's a beautiful shimmer to it. And I like leaving my, my ribbon, excuse me, on the spool and apply that. So I've got a 12 o'clock position ribbon that's going to wrap around the bottom. Keep the tails to the table will help get this nice flow for your knot. Take a paper shimp or paper shimp, um, getting a little nervous, uh, paper snips 
trim off the excess. And all I have waste is just a little bit when I leave it on the spool. Now I'm going to take the snail adhesive again, apply it on the back of this, and this is going to cover up my imperfections of my wheat not being the same length on the bottom. And that will finish the card off. So this is a fun fold. If you found my video via YouTube, look in the comment section for a direct link to my blog post where you'll find the supplies, measurements, and instructions for this project. There's a PDF you can download and a direct link to my store to purchase the supplies. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed creating this project with me.